I got back not too long ago from watching Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Is it good? That is the question. This video will contain spoilers, so if you do not want to know, then please do not continue watching this video. I am Auckland. If you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button, like button also, share with friends who don't mind. So please comment, ask me a question, or comment in general. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you don't mind, hit the notification bell down below, and you'll be notified when I go live or upload another video. Alright, uh, the movie pretty much started off with um, Ray. Uh, well, it, it did start off somewhere else, but it pretty much started off with Ray uh, training, and her master is Leia, or Ghana. Excuse me. So she was training in the forest and all that, and it was amazing. Ray was like hovering off of the ground, and rocks was swirling around her. It was amazing. It was so good. Um, I'll probably need. Probably need to watch the movie multiple times to remember everything. So I'm just going to talk about all the stuff that I do remember. Um, let's see. Uh, Palpatine. Big spoiler. Palpatine is back. Has returned. The Emperor is no longer dead. He's alive. For now. At least until the... To the part that I say that he's not, but he is back. He had like different forms. He uh, his first form I can remember, his eyes were white, and he looked really, really dead looking. I mean, his fingers were like all broken up and stuff, and oh boy, he looked very, very creepy. And as far as I can tell, and I believe it is, it's the same actor who played as Palpatine before, Palpatine. Palpatine before so it was so so cool that he was able to come back I mean it makes sense because Palpatine's voice was in the darn trailers so why wouldn't he be actually in the movie also and um let's see uh, uh I'm not going to remember everything in certain orders but Kylo Ren uh, revealed to Ray who she really is, and Ray is Palpatine's granddaughter, so she is Ray Palpatine instead of Ray Skywalker. But at the, the end of the film, she did call herself Skywalker, but but she's really uh, Ray Palpatine. And next thing is. Kylo Ren. Did he turn from the dark side and go light or did he stay dark? He actually turned to the light side. But after he became Ben Solo once again he uh well before I get to that he um he got rid of his lightsaber. His cross lightsaber got rid of it threw it in the ocean behind him after him and Ray had gotten to a lightsaber battle duel whatever you want to call it it was really really cool how Ray flipped over the water and he walked through it and he was all soaking wet and um, it was a really really good fight it was awesome they were fighting on top of the um, the the abandoned uh, wreck of the Death Star from um, had to be from Ret Return of the Jedi it had to be because it was out in the ocean on its planet and they were fighting on top of it, and it the fight almost reminded me of the fight from uh, episode 3 Revenge of the Sith what it kind of reminded me of instead of it being lava it was water but um and then uh, Kylo was uh, um, feeling his mom, Leia, and he saw her. And then Ray stabbed him while he wasn't paying attention. And did 
it didn't kill him, but uh, then something weird happened, and I still don't completely understand it, but Ray was able to heal Kylo. She placed her hand on him and healed him, gave him part of her force life or force energy, and brought Kylo uh, back to his prime, I guess you could say. He was healed from the uh, stab of the lightsaber, and and they were ha they had a conversation about um, that he was dead, and then uh, Ray said, "No, Kylo is dead." So he became Ben Solo once again, and he took up a a blaster, and it was shooting off like uh, Han Solo. And speaking of Han Solo. Harrison Ford showed up. He's supposed to be like a memory, but he was able to actually physically touch Kylo, but I guess it was all in Kylo's mind. So Harrison Ford returned as Han Solo. It was awesome. It was so cool. So, so cool. And uh, moving on to something else. Um, they really messed up our e emotions a little bit. Um, we thought Chewie got killed. Chewbacca. Uh, it was during a moment in the film where, um, Kylo and Rey were in the desert, and, uh, Chewbacca had been captured on a ship, and it was flying off, like, it was flying off, and then Rey was using her force grip to pull it down, and Kylo was doing the same thing. And then the ship exploded after Ray shot out lightning out of her hands. Out of her hand, not hands. Hands. And it exploded. And we thought Chewbacca was dead because we thought he was on that ship. But then we saw him later on on another ship. And the stormtroopers had captured him because that's what they had done to start with. To put him on that ship. They captured him. And so Chewie was okay. He was, he was alive, which was fantastic. And then, eventually, uh, Princess Leia, Leia or Ghana, had died. Uh, but, she didn't completely, completely die until, um, after, uh, let's see. After the moment where Ben uh, Kylo was stabbed and Ray brought him back to life, I think I'm getting this correctly. I've only seen the movie one time now, because um, Leia had used her Force energy and connected it with Kylo, Ben Solo, and once he got stabbed, uh, Leia was. Officially dead. No way, man. No, I'm getting it. I'm I'm getting it all. I'm getting it all messed up. I'm so sorry. Um, later on at the end of the movie, um, after uh, Ray and Palpatine uh had a fight, uh, he was using his force energy, and she was she was blocking it with the lightsaber, and let's see. And I'm trying to get it all together, and I not not notice a big big mess. Um, I guess I better get to this part before I talk about the rest of that. Leia has a lightsaber. Yeah, so she is basically a Jedi almost basically, because there was a flashback of young Princess Leia and young Luke Skywalker. And they were training each other in the in the forest, and they were wearing helmet masks, kind of like that that mask that Luke that Luke wore in a New Hope when he was training on the Millennium Falcon. And he was putting his lightsaber, and it was blocking that ball that was shooting at him. That's what his mask kind of kind of remind me of. So back at the fight between Palpatine and Rey. She had two lightsabers. She had Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, and she had Princess Leia's uh, lightsaber. 
And at some point in time, uh, Kylo, I mean Ben Solo, either had Princess Leia's light, lightsaber, or Rey had Luke's, or the other way, other way around, but they're both blue lightsabers. And then, uh, Ben Solo got knocked out of the way by Palpatine, and they got knocked out. Because uh, Palpatine was using, I think I heard it be, I don't think I've heard it called um, force, force sucking. So instead of using force, like he, instead of he was shooting lightning out of his hands, Palpatine, he was like, like a vacuum. He was sucking their force energy out of their bodies. It was insane. It was insane. But, um, yeah, this is a mess of a spoilers I've gotten it all messed up but I'm doing the best that I can but um and then later on after uh Papa Teen was officially killed off when he was shooting lightning at Ray she was using both um Leia's lightsaber and Luke's lightsaber and she crossed him like something like that and she crossed him and she was able to backfire his lightning at his face and melted his face and killed him. And then uh, all that energy from Ray, uh, she also had the souls, um, the spirits of all the past, pre all the past previous Jedi's, all inside of her. She heard voices from um, Yoda, Anakin. I think even Mace Windu and Luke and so many others. She heard all the voices in her head and she asked for them to be with her. So she had all of them inside of her fighting Palpatine. And when that fight was over, Ray died. She fell to the floor, dead. And then uh, Ben Solo was knocked off earlier by Palpatine and came crawling back up. And he was able to transfer his force, life energy, over to Rey and brought her back to life. And they kissed and then he died. So, wow. What a movie. I really enjoyed this film. I um, thought it was very, very good. And I know um, the credits and everybody, everybody else is tearing this movie apart. They're hating on it. But it's making so much money. I think it's up to like $800 million or maybe $900 million by now. I haven't checked in a little while. But... I enjoyed the film. That was really good, and it ended with um, Ray going back to Tatooine, I think, the place where Luke was raised at, and she buried Luke and Leia's lightsabers in the sand. She used another force power or some kind, and instead of digging the sand up with her bare hands or using her, a pair of tools or something. She used that force ability and she buried the lightsabers into the ground. And then an elderly lady showed up and she asked who Ray was and she said I'm Ray. And she started thinking about it and looking around and, and then she saw Luke and Leia as force ghosts. And then she said Ray Skywalker. So she called herself a Skywalker instead of Ray Palpatine for technically what she really is. But she took on the Skywalker name, which was awesome. But um I really enjoyed the film. And there was a moment in in the film where Finn was wanting to tell Ray something and he never got the chance to tell her and I believe what it was was Finn wanted to tell Ray how much she meant to him. That he was in love with her. I believe that's exactly what it was. 
But um, it was such a good movie. Really enjoyed it. And I'm really looking forward to buying the Blu-ray. And I want to sit down and watch all nine films back to back. And I know there's also Rogue One and Solo. And I don't have them on Blu-ray either. And I definitely do want to get them as well. But um, I enjoyed Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. I enjoyed it so much. I'll give it a 8 out of 10. Or 8.5 out of 10. Somewhere around there. That's what I'm going to give it. So, I really enjoyed it. It was so good. But, so, I'm going to end this video. And thank you so much. Alright, bye.